enough male stuff. You know, I talked to Andy earlier and I said, I'm going to let her tell her something about, you know, her country, Britain. You know, I'm from L.A. Oh, and she wanted to show this group, Five Star. Now, for those of y'all ain't never seen them, this is what they look like. Well, Landy, I'm sure there was a reason you wanted to see that clip. <laughs> well, I suppose you could just call it where are they now kind of morbid curiosity, you know, because they were these like five really sweet little kids jumping around with their orange hair and the whole thing. And then they just disappeared and you always knew something terrible was going to happen to them, right? It was just so inevitable. It was painful, really. And then it did and then they just went. So, you know, I for one would like to know what happened to them. Right. No star shone brighter or fizzled out quicker than Five Star. All silky pop sounds and shoulder pads, Romford's answer to the Jackson Five were the perfect 80s group. The winner is Five Star. It's Five Star! The family mantelpiece was weighed down by glittering, meaningless awards. They even had their own cartoon strip in Lookin'. Five Star had moved into the big time and into a big house. They even bought themselves a big car each. The black Lamborghini at the end belongs to Denise, as you can see hey. Denise going to her car. <laughs> but the I know, one. Denise hasn't passed the test yet, though, has she? That's right, but she'll pass that soon, no worries All about right. that. The white one is the best, that's mine. Yeah. This Mercedes Sports belongs to Doris, which she can't get open at the moment, <laughs> she's very embarrassed. The red Ferrari belongs to Lorraine. Yeah. The red Mercedes belongs to Stead. And what about this one here, this whacking great thing? This thing is the family car. Oh. But Denise never got to drive her car without l plate. Suddenly, everything they had built up began to all fall down. They lost a lot of money in a studio investment that backfired. One of the brothers, Stedman, was caught in a public toilet behaving like a Church of England bishop. But worst of all, this wholesome, harmless family act began to get up people's noses. You really love me. OK, Elliot, what's your question? I'd like to ask Five Star where they're so fucking crap, they're fucking... Thanks very much, Elliot. Nice to hear from you. I'm sure Tommy would have made a lot more sense. Let's move on to line three. Can you cut that? <laughs> that was wrong. Oh, we'll that was wrong. So whatever did happen to Five Star, well, badass TV tracked them down. They've sold their big house and their big cars and moved to Los Angeles. But they're still together and still making music. In fact, they've just finished a new album. But the big question is, are they still performing in those funky shoulder padded spacesuits that Stedman lovingly designed for them so many years ago? We've evolved from <laughs> cavemen <laughs> upwards, OK? Yeah. No, the spacesuits and all the... The space suit. No. Well, costumes. costumes. When, we first, when we first came out, in fact, the whole entire look, even people, shoulder pads were in. <laughs> Dynasty was in. <laughs> you know, everyone was just mm -hmm. that way, you know? It, it, and then yeah, it you changed with the times. Blame stared. He's <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs>